CNBC Africa's Bronwyn Nielsen spoke to Chichi Maponya, chairperson of Brand SA, about the relationship between South Africa and China. Let's take a look. Uh, you know, China and South Africa have a very special relationship, uh, the comprehensive strategic partnership uh, that the two countries have, and of course, uh, China being uh, South Africa's largest trading partner currently. Uh, so we see the relationship uh, strengthening, uh, and yes, uh, going through turbulent times at the moment, but uh, I think uh, there are more opportunities uh, of uh, uh, looking at other pockets uh, within the partnership where we can strengthen uh, the relationship between the two countries. Do you think that with the BRICS grouping and South Africa being firmly part of that grouping, we are starting to see re rewards coming from the border relationship across Brazil, Russia, India, China, and of course South Africa? Uh, specifically with China, yes, I think uh, we are beginning to see those results. Uh, on a lesser extent uh, with uh, uh, Brazil uh, and Russia also strengthening, uh, India through the IPSA relationship, uh, and of course the BRICS as well, there are strong relations but there are more opportunities there are around the health sector, around the, the entrepreneurial space, you know, so there, there are a lot of opportunities that uh, we are seeing uh, within the BRICS uh, uh, formation. You mentioned India and IPSA and specifically with a focus now on India being the bright spot with 7.5% growth forecast for, for this year. In fact, the Prime Minister, Prime Minister Modi is saying 8.1% to 8.5% growth. We we must be looking keenly as South Africans to that territory and unlocking further opportunities. Absolutely. You know, when you look at the uh, commodity space here in China, uh, one then needs to look at uh, diversifying first within China and within our sector as uh, the economy cluster. Uh, but also then looking at other BRICS countries and see how we can leverage uh, uh, the partnership and uh, close the gaps in those areas where in the resource and commodity space we are seeing uh, job losses and uh, potential uh, uh, job losses. But then we, that could uh, possibly be replaced uh, or strengthened by the relationship uh, with uh, India. India's growth uh, is, is good news for South Africa indeed. And uh, Chichi, just in terms of uh, South Africa, the RAND is under pressure, but that's in line with all emerging market currencies right now. Have you got any thoughts on, on the RAND? I know that it's impossible to forecast going forward, but does it concern you? Is it concerning investors that you are engaging with? You know, the uh, volatility of the RAND, as you say, rightfully say, is, is a global issue. But uh, then uh, it, it, it works for other sectors uh, in, uh, for South Africa, for, for uh, tourists. Uh, uh, we are now very attractive uh, as a destination for tourists. Uh, and we are hoping that uh, we will increase that because uh, we had uh, suffered a little uh, uh, on the back of uh, the perceptions around uh, Ebola uh, and uh, how that was managed uh, and we ex exactly in Africa Ebola um, uh, affected. But uh, I think uh, on the tourist side we should uh, hopefully see the spin-off uh, of the uh, uh, rent uh, exchange. And also on exports and manufacturing? Uh, of course, definitely yes, on exports and manufacturing that should strengthen and uh, South, South Africa should be viewed as uh, attractive for now uh, in terms of the uh, exports, the uh, balance of payment uh, should be looking good. And just finally, are you seeing the South African delegation growing in strength at the Summer World Economic Forum here in China year to year? So slowly, yes, we are seeing it growing. Uh, it's more the countries, uh, companies rather, that uh, have relations with China that we are seeing. Uh, but the interest uh, has been uh, with Africa and with Davos. But I think uh, uh, the, the, the Chinese uh, uh, partnership also is growing in terms of uh, the South African uh, uh, delegation that comes to, to, to with uh, China.